Kim Hee, this illegal North Korean refugee, plans to fly from a Chinese airport on a false passport. She'll need nerves of steel. What happens if I get caught? We could live here like this, but I want him to have a better life. To walk, at least with crutches. What'll I do if it doesn't work out? There's still time to change her mind. She's already been caught once and sent back. If she's stopped, Kim Hee knows she may never see her son again. The bus from Yangji arrives in Beijing with May, who's left her mother and brother behind. She ought to be able to enter South Korea's embassy here in the capital. But China won't allow it, fearing that would encourage more North Korean refugees. So May must wait and creep around the streets before meeting the others at Beijing railway station. They could be arrested at any time. I was actually jailed in China for this work. I know exactly what the situation is. The Chinese demanded to know why I do this work and who's really behind it. I told them I'm a pastor and the job is one from God. They thought I was joking and kept asking the same questions over and over again. According to plan, the North Koreans arrive for their train at the last moment, just as it's about to leave. May settles in for a two-day journey, 2,000 miles, from China's capital, Beijing, to the southern city of Kunming and the border with Laos. As the train heads south, they have a close shave. A squad of Chinese police have boarded the train. The fugitives will have to hide. There's little sympathy here for North Koreans on the run, still less for the Christians who help them. The Chinese police asked me, where in the Bible does it say you have to help escaping North Koreans? I said there are no such words, but that in the book of Exodus we're told to help orphans, widows and strangers. And who are they? They're the daughters who are sold in front of their mothers and the wives sold in front of their husbands in China. Back in Yangji, it's time for Bo Song and his mum to say goodbye. Oh, 
Gyumhee has a long journey ahead, a massive detour. 